Cholera, typhoid, and bubonic plague are some of the nastiest diseases that can kill us, and they're all caused by tiny microscopic organisms. Our mighty kauri trees are suffering kauri dieback in a variety of habitats across the North Island, and the cause, a tiny microscopic organism called Phytophthora taxonogathus. I'm going to meet with Nick Waipara, who is a plant pathology expert with the Auckland Council, to find out how we're responding to this crisis. She believes there's love inside, but still can't make up her mind. So what's this about, Nick? Well, this is one of the cleaning stations that we've put in at the start of a Cody forest. Yeah. And what that does is that the public and anyone that's visiting or working in this forest can actually clean their shoes as they come into the forest. Okay. And then when they've finished what they're doing, whether they're having a walk or doing some work, when they leave again so they can clean it, right. clean their shoes as they go. And what we do is scrape the bottom of your shoes or boots on these brushes and the soil comes off the bottom of the shoe and down into the grate. And then we have this detergent, which is a disinfectant. Yep. And what this does is kill the spores inside the soil, which spread cowrie dieback. Okay. So it's just a basic um, spray onto the bottom of the shoe. And then you're ready to go. This is a good scrub first. Good rub. Right, let's go and have a look at some of this carry dieback. Sure, right. So what exactly is this carry dieback? Well, it's a PTA or Phytophthora taxon agathus. Phyto meaning plant, thora meaning destroyer in Greek. So that's why it's such a horrible word to say, Phytophthora. <laughs> and what this is doing, it's a microorganism, so it's invisible to the naked eye. And what it's doing is actually infecting kauri trees and unfortunately killing them. It attaches to a kauri root and it infects through the roots and moves up the root system and comes to the trunk or the base of the tree. So what the kauri phytophthora is doing is it's rotting out the uh, wood behind the bark. Mm. And what the kauri tree is trying to do is wall it off or bandage it off. Yeah by producing its gum. So kauri bleed gum for a whole lot of reasons, and one of the reasons they do it is like a bandage. It's trying to heal itself. What you're seeing is the war between the tree and the disease. So what are the key facts people need to remember about kauri dieback? Every time you go to a kauri forest, make sure you're arriving with clean shoes and clean equipment, and if you're mountain biking, clean tires. And then when you leave again, make sure that that soil on the tyres or on the shoes is washed off again. If there is a cleaning station at the forest, please use it, because the disease isn't everywhere yet. This serious threat really highlights the delicacy of our biodiversity from introduced threats from abroad, and it also highlights how communities have to come together to solve these problems. The Cowrie have MAF Biosecurity, regional councils, the Department of Conservation and local communities all working together to make sure a tiny microorganism isn't the end of our mighty carry forests.